Meanwhile, even though it's breaking, there are clouds. It's still worthwhile if you just smile Oh, smile Though your heart is aching Smile even though it's breaking When there are clouds And the sky you'll get by If you smile Through your fear and sorrow Smile and maybe tomorrow You'll see the sun come shining through For you your face with gladness Hide every trace of sadness Although a tear May be ever so near That's the time You must keep on trying Smile, what's the use of crying? You'll find that life is still worthwhile If you just Smile, 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 Bought with the press 
precious blood of Christ. Oh, mm-hmm. No guilt in life. No fear in death This is the power of Christ in me From life's first cry to final breath Jesus commands my destiny No power of hell, no scheme of man Can ever pluck me from his hand Till my soul, the king of hell, to his feet thy tribute bring, ransomed he, restored, forgiven, who like thee is Eight o'clock on a Sunday. Regular crowd shuffles in. There's an old man. He's sitting next to me, making love to his tonic and gin. He says, "Son, can you play me a memory?" I'm not really sure how it goes But it's sad and it's sweet And I knew it complete When I wore a younger man's clothes La 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 Sing us a song, you the piano man Sing us a song tonight well, we're all in the mood for a melody. I hope you are. And you've got us feeling all right. Now, John at the bar, he's a friend of mine. He gets him our drinks for free. And he's quick with a joke. He'll light up your smoke, but there's some place that he'd rather be in. 
He said, John, I believe this is killing me. As a smile ran away from his face. Oh, I know I could be a big movie star if I could get out of this place. La 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 Sing us a song, you the piano man. Sing us a song tonight. Well, we're all in the mood for a melody. And you've got us feeling all right. Pretty good crowd. Well, I have no idea, to be honest. <laughs> there might be four of you out there, and it's time to stop. Are there six of you? Not um, many. A few more than that. <laughs> really, not many. Oh, about 35. <laughs> oh, dear. What's happened, Sue? Oh, well, I, they might be on YouTube, as we told them to go to YouTube, but they're 35 on Facebook, so. Dear me. People, we'll be back now <laughs> for the next quite a few weeks. So we, we want to play to more than 35 people. So could you please share it with your friends? And the manager, she gives me a smile. <laughs> I like her hair at the moment. Her hair's, oh. it's, that is, it's kind of groovy, isn't it? She was out doing a show last night, which we'll talk about mm. in a minute, but um, <laughs> people came up were going, you are so beautiful. And that was just that was you. just to me. Thank you very much. <laughs> I knew that was coming. Um, but she, this is a new dress that she got in the Isle of Wight. See, look at this. It's nice, isn't it? New top. Where's your big heart that you can you normally kill me with? <laughs> I, haven't you swing left and right? I haven't got that on tonight. I haven't got that on tonight. Right last week. But. Okay. Because she knows, ultimately. It's you. She knows, oh, truly. She knows fully. She knows intimately, absolutely clearly in her head that it's me. They've been coming to see, to forget about life, just for two hours. <laughs> Too true. Too for a true. while, oh, I, the piano it sounds like a carnival, and the microphone it smells like a beer. And they sit at the bar and put bread in my jar and say, man, what are you doing here? La 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 Sing us a song, you're the piano man Sing us a song tonight Well, we're all in the mood for a melody And you've got us feeling all right as the notes die away on the piano from that lovely evening. We just say, welcome once again. We do. We're back. Welcome. Welcome. Back. And it was only six minutes and something, so those of you on YouTube <laughs> remember. Now, I put a little uh, message out a few minutes ago to say that, um, sadly, well, um, YouTube... Uh, Facebook seems to be holding at the moment. Oh. So, hopefully, Rachel's kicked it into touch. <laughs> All right. There was a massive problem with Facebook it earlier, was, and it, it wasn't was. holding anything, and we were losing... Now, you don't mind if I have a cup of tea? Oh, actually, I'll have a drink of water. And just to remind you all, if there is a problem, go to your smart televisions, right? Most of you have flat screen TVs. You can go to YouTube on your flat screen TV if you've got smart TVs. And you can plug in and go to JV, um, and it should be up on your screens, J Jonathan Vera, V-E-I-R-A, JV, the big sign JV, and it will come up as JV Live. It's a better watching experience, and if you want to, then you can use Facebook to comment. Okay? That's what people are doing. Okay, and so that's generally the way to watch it. Watch it on YouTube, 
um, on your television or even on your tablet or um, even on your phone, actually. Um, um, and then if you need to comment, and we love you commenting because, of course, we don't get any response otherwise. But I need you to know something. I need you to know it absolutely right now that we've been away for a while we've had a we big have. a big break and in fact it, we really needed it um we did i think we slept for four weeks <laughs> didn't wake up it was like squirrels we just kind of you know bought a bag of kp nuts and that was it for us right it was a big bag it was a big bag <laughs> it was a big bag and we ate we've eaten them all and um now the suit doesn't fit so you know it's, it's it fitted very well last night. But this isn't the suit. This is the, no, art. No, this you're is the very, old suit. You're looking very sharp, JV. Very oh. sharp. Oh, that's very kind. Very but I just want you to remember, and we want you to remember, that you got a friend in me and her. You got a friend in me. When the road looks rough ahead and you're miles and miles from your nice warm bed. You just remember what your old pal said Boy, you got a friend in me You got a friend in me Oh, you got a friend in me You got a friend in me You got troubles and I've got them too There is not Anything I wouldn't do for you We stick together and we'll see it through Cause you got a friend in me You got a friend in me Some folks might be a little bit smarter than I am And bigger and stronger too, maybe But none of them will ever love you the way I do, boy, it's me and you and And as the years go by You're gonna see when I will never die You're gonna see it's our destiny Cause you got a friend in me You got a friend in me Some other folks might be a little smarter than I am And bigger and stronger too, maybe But none of them will ever love you, yeah The way I do, oh, it's me and you, boy And as the years go by Our friendship will never die You're gonna see it's our destiny Cause one, two, three, oh, you got a friend in me. Sing it with me, now. come on. You got a friend in me, right all up in the balcony. Come on out. You got a friend in me, right down in the cheap seats in the stalls. You got a friend in me, the ones in the toilet. Come out. You got a friend in me, the ones out in the field. Couldn't afford the ticket. You got a friend in me. Now all the girls. You've got a friend in me. Very sexy, that one. <laughs> All the ladies. <laughs> You've got a friend in me. Okay, now the gentlemen. <laughs> you got a friend in me. Better than last time. You got a friend in me. Lovely. I do enjoy that one. Yes, I do like that one. It's a good fun. What good fun? Like, good those fun of you, one. I didn't actually. I'd never, I'd never known it before. I had to go in and sing it in my granddaughter's school. Yes. Matthew, my son, suggested, which was so shocking <laughs> to me that he suggested it. But I, I, I had to learn it's it quickly nice on the one. piano in about a day, and he, he took it the guitar and he sung it actually. And um, yeah, it was good I just fun. Played. It was, it good was fun. a good fun, and the children loved it. They were all kind of you know, dancing. Yeah, because it's <laughs> they're they're up to eleven. They're not self conscious. Toy, story, isn't it? toy, it's toy story, story, yeah. And that one because it used to be you know. When you're down in trouble <laughs> And you need some love and care You're doing that one as well now? Nothing 
No, nothing. Well, I need to remind people. Yeah, go on then. Go because it. it's been a long time. Join I think in, we've everyone. left them. Nothing is going right. Keep your head together now. And call my name out loud. And soon I'll be knocking at your door. Sing now. You just call out my name. And you know wherever I am, I'll come running to see you again. Winter, spring, summer or fall, all you gotta do is call and I'll be there. Yes, I will. You've got a friend. Oh, darling, you've got a friend. Oh, darling, we won't do this, but you've, you've got, got a friend. friend. Oh, darling, you've, you've got, got a friend. And actually, um, I wanted some songs about friends, actually, because I, okay. last night... That's what a nice I, coincidence that is, then. <laughs> Um, because anybody for a cup of tea? It's mint tea, by <laughs> it's the way. Mint tea. It's cheap mint tea from Tesco's. This um, show is sponsored by Tesco's <laughs> last cheap week. nasty tea. Um, oh, hang on a minute. No, nothing's muted, darling. Nothing's muted. What, what have we lost? <laughs> Just she wanted the keys turned up. Well, turn the um, keys up then. Anyway, so the reason I wanted some songs about friends is because we did a great show last night in Croydon. And first of all, it was put on by good friend um, Elaine, and Brilliant Elaine woman. Haywood um, was was very. Yes. Taller you had, than me. You had to look know. up to her, didn't I you, did. darling? I looked up to her in every possible way. <laughs> and uh, Elaine and her team looked were down great. To the she was a lot shorter. So it's got, <laughs> and yeah. um, so lovely it was. Lady, it was lovely for um, for us to be welcomed in by a friend and. Um, and to meet her family and so on, and and it was just a great atmosphere, wasn't it? And then, just another one after another of the friends just started coming in, friends that we've made through this show over the last three years. Yeah. So it was a sort of never-ending stream. Lovely Rachel and P came all the way from Norfolk area, uh, drove two hours to be with us, which was fantastic. And um, there was Carol and Chris, and I've not seen Carol at his show before, which is great. Lovely Helen and. Um, uh, not Helen, um, lovely uh, Karen and and Heather were there. And um, it was great to see, because the, the heating had broken in the church. <laughs> so Karen had dressed uh, Heather warmly in the wheelchair, and um, she looked so snug. She looked warmer than the rest of us, I have to say. Um, yes, but that was, it was great to have them there as well. And uh, Karen did a grand job of helping me on the um, merchandise table. And actually, I'd quite like to take her with me everywhere I go. I th just pack her in my pocket and just unpack her for the shows. That would be lovely. Um, of course, Sharon from Southport managed to get there. She got cross with Jonathan because he couldn't remember where she was from. And he, she had to remind him a couple of times. Uh, but that was lovely. It was lovely to have Sharon there. Who else did we have? Um, we had Jerry from Croydon. Of course, Jerry. Dear Jerry. Jerry was there from and Croydon. I'm going to read that. Well, actually. In, in a minute. In a minute. In a minute. In a minute. Okay. Um, well, I'm on a row. Um, lovely Deborah Roberts was there with Jeffrey. And it was such a joy, wasn't it, to hear Jeffrey joining in with the songs. Um, Jeffrey can't say very much at all, and yet he, he sang along. I think it was G that he G, used to G, sign himself. G used to sign himself. And can G. I say, it was the best. It was so, so lovely good. seeing you there, yeah, both of you. But G singing his heart out every time I started singing, it was brilliant. <laughs> it, was no, it was actually. It, it was, was really, really good. Uh, Rachel and Margaret, you were there. Jim and Sylvia were there. Lovely Hazel, you were there. And um, Chris Andrews. And if I've forgotten any of you, I am so sorry. It just... It was so wonderful to see you all there. And also our old friend Boma. We've not seen her for a couple of years. Yeah, brilliant. So Actually, she was nice. um, it was just it was a great, like a It was a great in, a multiracial It was, church. fantastic. There were so was. many black, yeah. brown, different races, multi-ethnic multi people, yeah. as well as white. It was all, it was like Bonnyville, yeah. going back to Bonnyville Yeah, going days. back to our old church. And, um, yeah. and it was lovely seeing it. And such enthusiasm too. Because often people, you know, traditionally English people are quite quiet, quite reserved when you go and see them. And laughing in church is not... Whereas Africans, they don't care, and they just <laughs> laugh. They enjoyed it, and it was it, it helped it. others to laugh, which yeah, was a great it thing. It was fantastic. Um, and I, I thought I thought it was quite a nice occasion, and um, it was just an, it was well well done, a full church, 
and um, a lots of enthusiasm mm. and people being incredibly generous, people coming up and we just thank people. But mm. Three people specifically came up We're and gave generous. gifts mm. towards the running of this show. And it's, it's fantastic because I've got some great uh, people coming up. We've got Cindy Kent next week, OBE, a broadcaster, the, the, um, the lead singer for uh, The Settlers. And she's going to be coming into the show and um, just talking about her life. A very interesting person. I'm, I'm constantly looking for interesting people. And I ended up finding um, we've got, who is it at the end? We've got Adrian coming at the yep, end of the end month. Of the month. Um, we've got Michael Cooper's daughter Michael coming Cooper's in, Michael Cooper's coming hopefully. at the end, yes, of March. end of March. We've got also a lovely couple of people, the Arthies, who I think they're quite local. They've been featured in, some, uh, in, uh, in Steve's magazine uh, last, last month, Sorted, um, and they lost limbs, I believe, mm. and they've written a book in an accident on, in mm. America. Mm. And um, they just, by coincidence, wrote to me. A lovely, couple. lovely, lovely couple with a lovely story, mm. actually, to tell. Um, and it's severe, uh, so the, 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 what happened to them. And yet they're coming in. So, you know, we've got, we've got people coming in all the time. I'm looking for some more guests to, to, uh, to, to fill the slots. Uh, but actually, but and we've also got, we've got John Greenwood. Oh, I've agreed John Greenwood magic. is going to do by Zoom, so we have to be when, oh, have when to be Rachel's, Rachel's here. Around. And he I will come Zoom. in and he will do, uh, he will come in, well, he'll come in by it because he's Liverpool, but he's <laughs> going to do a trick. Our own community member, you see, that's what we like. And we like people who just tell a story. And what I most like, you, mo you know this to be the truth, is that people are uh, what I would call ordinary people, not... not Flashy people, like they're ordinary people. Not like me. I'm. I'm not. I'm not. I'm extraordinary. But like me. I'm more like a, your everyday yeah. international <laughs> megastar, and I get that. But people are more like Sue. Yeah. Just have a look at her a minute. Look at her. Like just, me. just have. A, let's have a moment. Just no, don't talk. Just look at her. Ordinary. You see, that's where it is. And and I can't. What can I say? Whereas, look at me now. Extraordinary. What can I say? There's a gift. It's a gift. You either have it, you don't. Now. <laughs> I just, you know, you I forgot. I should have read this last just time. Talk let me just let me just read this because I, this I can't even remember who sent me this. But if somebody did send it to me, can you just? It's it a little shaggy dog. Okay. One day God called down to Noah and said, "Noah, my son, I want you to build me a new ark." Noah replied, "Are you sure, Lord?" God said, "Yes, I'm sure." But there's a catch. This time, I want a much bigger ark with twenty decks, one on top of the other. Twenty decks, said Noah, aghast. Well, yes, Lord. Whatever you say. Should I fill it up with all the animals just like last time? Not exactly, answered God. This time I want you to fill it up with fish. Fish, queried a puzzled Noah. Yes, fish. Specific, specifically, I want you to fill it with carp. Carp. Noah looked up to heaven saying, resignedly, you want a new ark? Yes. With 20 decks, one on top of the other? Yes. That's right. And you want it full of carp? Exactly, said God. Why? asked the perplexed Noah, who was slowly but surely getting to the end of his tether. Well, said God, I just fancied a multi-story carp arc. <laughs> <laughs> there was a reason why you thing? didn't do that last week. <laughs> yes, thank you. He deserves the test card. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's brilliant. I love that. Um, oh, it, it's, it has the, the rare... The, no, it has a rare ability uh, to be unfunny um, as well as everything else. But you, you know, know what? Tommy, do you know where it's headed? But I do. But, well, no, you didn't know. You could not have done No, you couldn't. No, you and, and you that. knew you were headed for that sort of line oh, at the we end. We all know, don't we? We all know Miss Ordinary, <laughs> Extraordinary. This is going to be the theme of the show. Um, there's one of the birthday, Sue. A, a certain Welsh lady who must be oh, very yes. disappointed. Yes. I know it must be very hard. I'm looking at the hills right now. And they must be, well, in mourning. They must be dressed in black, I would say. Uh, no. After double humiliation, oh right? It feels like I'm back in the 80s with you a lot, you know. Back in the 80s when they wouldn't, they wouldn't. Yeah, you were happy to have the wooden spoon, I know. Um, usually in Scotland. Now, to be trounced, indeed. What was it? How much, what was the score yesterday? And yet, England. That was against Italy. Don't be rude about the Italians. <laughs> they need to be French yesterday. Anyway. They're hills to look to make you um, um, more, happy more birthday happy. today, Joy. I'm sorry about my husband. He's uh, a little bit, he's a little bit frisky tonight. I think he's very excited to be back in the Steinway room. I am. Yeah, I can do what I like now. <laughs> this one is for you from your husband. Just a little, little first verse. Here we go. When I get older, losing my hair, many years from now. Will you still be sending me a valentine? A birthday greeting, the bottle of wine. 
I've been out till quarter to three Will you lock the door? Will you still need me? Will you still fit me? When I'm 64 When I'm 64 Happy birthday to you Happy birthday to you Happy birthday dear Joy, have a set two syllable name, girl. Joy, joy. Happy birthday to you. Oh, yeah. They, is the piano working? All right, well, while we're doing that, here we go. A little song here. Maybe the uh, maybe one of the switches is off. Just check the switches, but don't be careful with them, please. Here we go. Switches might well have been turned off. Here we go. My funny Valentine. Here we go. My funny Valentine. Sweet comic valentine You make me smile with my heart Your looks laughable Unphotographable Yet you're my favorite word Lord. Is your figure less than Greek? Is your mouth a little weak? When you open it Are you smart? Don't, don't change your hair for me. Not if you care for me. Stay little Valentine. Is Valentine's Day? Come on, Marcus. Mark Edwards on piano. Danny ba Baron Beckett on drums and Aaron Sovigy on double bass. Is your figure less than green? Is your mouth a little weak? When you open it to speak, are you Don't change your hair for me Not if you care for me Stay little Valentine Stay Oh, each day is Valentine
that is some poem. Now we've got. Don't forget, people. In a two, in a few minutes, only a few minutes. Um, I have my special guest sitting next door in the in the atrium. <laughs> <laughs> or has he gone to the orangery? I don't know. What's the matter? What is everything all right? When you do, listen, don't make those but There are certain, what you don't see people is Sue just does this kind of thing. She goes, oh. <laughs> and in the corner of mine, what, the what he can't see is that Rachel and I have this dialogue going on because what? Rachel is it. I can see Rachel yeah. there and she was, she yeah. was, um, she was what? Having an ice cream? She was writing. B she baking was writing. a cake. What she was writing? She was apologising. Apologising for what? You don't do dancing. <laughs> Nobody I know. Um, I could have been a dancer. It was a, 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 it was a real it was a close up. thing. Look, it, it was a close thing. It? it was between it was this and thing. this and dancing. And I, they, they, it wasn't the figure that put them off because well, they thought I could have made a lot of money from the less laughter. Less than Greek. Right, right. If you're figure less than Greek, <laughs> and that was for you, by the way, Me? my funny. But yeah, you are my Aww. funny, my very funny Valentine. But but funny, but not intentionally. And I think that we need to change that over the next. I don't know how many years. Owen, we've got. you said you wondered what I said to Jonathan after the show. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and the nice cup of tea. I, I do little five bar gates of all the insults. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, moving back to Jerry. Jerry was there last night. It was lovely to see him with his lovely hair. Yes. Um, and he's had this operation that is, um, which is when he's, he's featured all over the country now mm. for this sleep apnea thing. He's had a, um, an insert, a, a bit inserted into his tongue, which stops it from moving. But sleep apnea is a very serious problem, and he's one of the first in the country to have it done. Do, do, so, do, do, do. yeah, I know. And he started to get five hours sleep a night, which actually, yes, after you know, you've got yeah, sleep apnea yes, yourself. I do, I do. So, and a lot of people out there have got it. So it's a, it's a, it's a, my, a relatively minor operation, um, which changes the, 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 his life. Anyway, he wrote this one for c me coming to Croydon. And I thought I had to read it to you. You do. Um, JV comes to Croydon. It's taken this famed JV chap to put Croydon back on the map. <laughs> Not known for milk and honey, this town's out of money, and the council is all in a flap. Entertainment's most versatile man has far and wide many a fan. That's me, by the way. At St. Mary and Martin's Church, that's where we were last night, he has set up his perch. <laughs> yeah, okay. So hop on the JV caravan. The maestro is here, he might say, due to what his dear Sue gave away. Thanks to God, JV's life was saved by his wife, whose kidneys performing today. Yes, yeah, all right. <laughs> Calm down. Calm down in the corner. Where would I be without your... Um, sit back, enjoy music and chat with songs, stories, jokes under his hat. Beware, JV may resolve, unsuspecting folk to involve in his antics. Be ready for Surely that. Surely not. The late queen, whoever you are, whoever, do you mean wherever you are, <laughs> would always ask, have you come far? It's true. It's it's true. Have you come far? Local. Yes, hello. Have you come far? Have you come far? <laughs> Local or distant folk, you will all love this bloke, so get ready to clap for this star. You're very kind. I used to be a star. Now I'm just a starlet. If you like what you hear and see, make yourself known to Sue and JV. And by tomorrow night, you very well might belong to the JV community. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Jerry Cow, J JV Community Poet Laureate, 11th of the 2nd, 23. So and thank you, you for that. And actually, if, as Jerry has quite rightly pointed out, you have joined us tonight, then you are very, very welcome. We love having and, you. And uh, we are delighted that you have joined us. And we say to you, as we say to everybody, when you join us, this is a, a community of faith and no faith. People join who come who have no interest whatsoever. So I often sing uh, a mix of songs. Um, Christian songs, just normal secular songs I used to sing in my life, some operatic, some not, but things, so, songs that I've recorded, songs that are good fun and everything else. Now, we've resolved the problem with the piano. There was a problem with the piano and it was my fault when I, re yes. I undid the room and then had to redo the room and turn the switches to zero. So uh, to, to a minus 20, you don't have to know. But here it comes. Now, I, I did this last night because I, I thought, actually... <laughs> And it's a actually, good song. Uh, can I dedicate it? You certainly can. I Susan. would like to dedicate this to the lovely Helen Coleman. Helen, it is your birthday on Thursday. Not just any old birthday, but you find yourself in your 
seventh decade come Thursday and um, I know that uh, this uh, particular song I'm sure just encapsulates your life really and um, thank you for your friendship thank you for your stalwart presence on the community and all the help that you give so many people and uh, we just all want to say to you happy birthday dear Helen a very special for Thursday. Woman. Take my life and let it be consecrated, Lord, to Thee. Take my moments and my days, let them flow in ceaseless praise. Take my hand. And let them move at the impulse of thy love. Take my feet and let them be swift and beautiful for thee. Take my voice and let me sing Always only for my King Take my lips and let them be Filled with messages from Thee Take my silver and my gold Not a might would I will hold Take my intellect and use every power As thou shalt choose Take my will and make it mine It shall be no longer mine Take my heart, it is thine own It shall be thy royal throne Take my love, my lord, I pour at thy feet is treasure store. Take myself, and I will be ever only all for thee. Ever. Well, that was rather beautiful. Another JV Insta arrangement of um And I think the tune. what we need, we need a little to kick the pace up a little bit. Okay. Can we have the video from 2013? My boys, Mark Edwards, the band from um, All Souls Langham Place. Let's have a little bit of Do Lord. Yeah.
I know what you're thinking. Come by off, it's not gonna happen. Matt had to play the guitar solo and it, it, it nearly killed him um, because Nick, <laughs> Nick started unfortunately too quickly. It's the only one in the yeah, whole time he, he started because well, he? He, was, he was starting yes. everything and it was such a pressurised evening, two evenings. Um, we're going to do a song, um, well I'm going to do a song actually, and this one it, it's uh, from, uh, from Hymns Project 1 I think mm, it is, it and is. it's a lovely little arrangement, uh, rearrangement, rewriting the, the tune. Um, we're going to have our guest in, we're going to have a, this song, and we're going to have another, another video, we're going to get our guest in and then we're going to go from there. Um, what we want to do is just say a special kind of shout out to people who are suffering a lot at the moment and <coughs> I'm in contact with quite a lot and one of them actually, if you're not feeling good and I, I just heard Brother Andrew who was with us mm. right at the beginning. Mm, you're back on tonight, right really at the beginning, pleased. And uh, Andrew, uh, just lovely to have you with us, write to me, write to me after the show, all right? Um, and I'll reply, okay? Just do that. Also, Marion Gaff, you've, you've had a rough time, my dear, and you're still sleeping downstairs because it's not all sorted out for you, but I'm you're with so us sorry. tonight, so that's great. And Marion is a real trooper. She is. She works she hard. She's, she made me laugh the lo longest I've ever laughed when we went and did the Thorny Hotel the first time, and she got caught 
I think she was on her <laughs> trolley. And I think she, That's her electric I think she wheelchair, did the whole, darling. She was up at Helvellyn. <laughs> she By the time the we, she arrived way. in the Lake District, she, just she climbed the wrong way Helvellyn the station. With a with a thing. She was at the top there. <laughs> Soldiers had to bring her down. Helicopters brought What's her down. What's he like, Marion? What's he like? Um, but it's so good to see you there. Um, and you're a good woman. You've had a difficult Christmas, and um, and I know that, and uh, as, as many people. I also want to mention a good friend, Peter Southcombe, Peter and Ruth. Um, Peter's going through some really difficult times, and Ruth with him. And uh, Peter, we send you big love. I'm not going to go into details. It's not relevant for people. But if you can just send him mm. your prayers, please, um, at this really difficult time. Um, there are so many people that, that, that need you. Let, let's remember Steve Legg as well, who's had the operation now, and he's raring to go, can't keep the man down. Um, and he's had the drain removed now, and we're glad for that. You keep sending him prayers of support, and um, if, you don't, if you're not a prayer, don't, don't, you don't do that, and then you send him wishes, positive best thoughts. wishes and positive thoughts, mm. and you send um, him messages of encouragement. And, uh, you know... If, he, if, he's, if, he's, if you can spare it, spend a few quid, send him a few quid just to, because he hasn't been able to earn at all and so that's been hard for him. Um, we also think of Roy, um, Sally Windsor and Roy. Um, Roy ended up going into hospital, being taken into hospital. Um, if you remember Roy, uh, it's the quadriplegic that we chatted to once and uh, he was rushed into hospital, had an infection somewhere, they didn't know where it was. Um, consultant has now said that he's... Um, being treated for sepsis, um, which is not something that you want to know um, when you're poorly. Um, however, he is doing very well, and they have um, been treating him, and uh, they're pleased with the response um, because he's brighter than he was. But they still don't quite know where the infection was. Obviously, very difficult to tell um, with someone like Roy. Um, but he's brighter in himself, which is good. So we keep on praying and sending positive thoughts for Roy and for Sally. And also for lovely Lynn, uh, you've, I think, got through your treatment now, Lynn. And um, we pray for that lovely treatment to have done its business uh, on your We also think of Tracy spine. Barker, who's had her oh, husband yeah. come back. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's tricky times in the, on the well, Isle of Wight. he's gone back into hospital. Has he? Mm. Oh, no. Good, good, good. Mm. He's not able to cope. Sorry about that. I didn't know that. I didn't pick that one up. Um, that then, we send out big love to um, lots of people. Richard, we do. Richard Donoghue as well, who's we a member of Richard and Val. Mm. Um, also going through terribly difficult times at the moment and diagnoses that are very, very mm. difficult. And um, these are difficult times for an awful lot of people mm. and we recognise that and we aim to help you. If there's any help we can give you, don't forget, don't forget, please, if you have an immediate need that we can help with, mm. then we'll mention it now and we'll mention it in the notices uh, a bit later on. Um, don't forget that you've got a friend, trust, you've got a friend, trust, um, that would oh, be well a, done, Rachel. Uh, a really it's gone up on the thing. screen. If you need it, then contact us, and we can help you to make that claim. If you'd like to give, then give to get, go, click on that link, mm -hmm. and it, aim to, it enables you to give. And you've been so generous, and they've been helping people so much. Um, it, lovely things that you mm -hmm. can do to change people's mm -hmm. lives. Anyway, here it is to God be the glory. We're going to have a, a video after this, straight afterwards, and Just we're going to get our special guest in. Um, Chris Wynn. Okay, stand by to God be the glory. Here it goes. To God be the glory, great things he has done. So loved he the world that he gave us his son. We yielded his life and atonement for sin and open life gates that all may go in. So praise to the Lord, let the earth hear his voice. Oh, praise to the Lord, let the people rejoice. Oh, come to the Father. To Jesus the Son and give him glory, great things he has done. Oh, give him glory, great things he has done. The perfect redemption, the purchase of blood to every believer. Promise 
house of God The vilest defender Who truly believes That moment that Jesus received So praise to the Lord Let the earth hear His voice oh, Praise to the Lord Let the people rejoice Jesus the Son and give him glory, great things he has done. Oh, give him glory, great things he has done. Great things he has taught us. Great things He has done And great our rejoicing Through Jesus the Son The purer and higher And greater will be Our sense of wonder When Jesus we see So praise to the Lord Let the earth hear His voice Praise to the Lord, let the people rejoice. Oh, come to the Father, to Jesus the Son, and give Him glory, great things He has done. Oh, give Him glory, great things He has done. So praise to the Lord. Let the earth hear His voice oh, Praise to the Lord Let the people rejoice oh, Come to the Father To Jesus the Son And give Him glory Great things He has done Oh, give Him glory Great things He has done God be the glory to God. To God. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. To God be. Lovely. It was really good to hear that again, actually. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. Very Look nice. straight into the video. We're going to get our lovely guest in now. He's been with you before. The uh, Forrest Gump of the JV and Life, <laughs> life in the Stoneway Room. Here comes Chris Wimber. Before that, a little song that I sung years ago, 2000, uh, 1997, when Matthew was only about nine or ten. ten. And here mm. he is, 35 years old. Here it is. Good night, my angel from Billy Joel. time to close your eyes and save these questions for another day I think I know what you've been asking me I think you know what I've been trying to say I promised I would never leave And you should always know 
wherever you may go no matter where you are i never will be far away good night my angel now it's time to sleep and still so many things i want to say remember all the songs you sang for me when we went sailing on an emerald bay but like a boat out on the ocean i'm rocking you to sleep the water's dark and deep inside this ancient heart you'll always be a part of me I can't. Emotional. I couldn't watch that. Oh, that I can't face. watch that now. That little face. It's so. It's so hard. It so you know, that I was young. I had hair, and <laughs> yeah. he, he's now losing his hair. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. All that lovely blonde hair. All that blonde, blonde, blonde hair, and now he's wearing a cap all the time because <laughs> oh, it's you know. Goodness. So it's it's quite it's, it's quite funny to watch it, but very moving. And actually, um, mm. you know. Anyway, enough of that because I hope you enjoyed that, everybody, and hope you did. sent it was the hearts. Very beautiful. It's all very beautiful. Uh, I sent out a picture. Many of you responded this uh, to his his daughter Poppy when about mm. uh, two years ago, sitting on a bench, and it was uh, a granddad telling me a story, and it was it was that an arm <laughs> round her, big big JV with tiny little Poppy, <laughs> tiny little girl, and she's quite diddy. She's quite dainty, isn't yeah. she? Yeah. But anyway, we have with us once again. One of my, uh, in 112 shows, one of my top-rated guests who came in, and a lot of people come in and they, they tell this story and they sell their book and, uh, and we love them. And everybody who comes in is a valued member of the community and they've given so much generously. And what I love to have um, are people with a story. I love a narrative, Chris. And we welcome you back. The man with the biggest story, I think... <laughs> I think you qualify for that. Best-selling author of 15, nearly 20, uh, 15, 20 books. It must be that now. I think it's 20 now. 20 books, right. Um, about to start a major podcast um, that you're all going to be invited to and to watch, and we really want you to, and we're going to be pushing it. It's just sitting and having conversations, and you're going to invite me on. I'll invite you, oh, and you, definitely yeah. I've got to sit yeah. and talk about nothing. And everything, That's and then the then be banned and cancelled forever. Yes. <laughs> that would be that would be the length That'll of the bridge. Yes. Okay. And so Jonathan Vera is now cancelled. Um, Chris, what's been happening in your life, and how are you? Well, first of all, thank you for having me back. It's so lovely to be back here. And can I say thank you? 
to your lovely community who've gone out and bought my books and listened to the podcast <laughs> and things. So kind. You have a big-hearted, generous community. They Gen- are, and that's, yeah. that is very true. And, um, and I think actually what they responded to when you came, so that you know, is your heart. Oh. It's a very, uh, we're very community-based. We have, I'm going to sing a song in a minute about that and about, you know, who we tend to connect with. We don't go for the rich and powerful. That's not who we connect with. We connect with, with ordinary people, many of whom have deep needs, many of them lonely, many are troubled, and they come and find in this community an acceptance, I hope, and um, uh, what you came across as, to me, and the first time I met you, I thought, here's a man who means what he says and says what he means. You have differing opinions to me. We had lunch recently. And it was a, a special few hours, actually, with your lovely dog as well. Yeah. Your lovely, nervous, but beautiful dog. Um, <laughs> she wasn't nervous by the end. No, she, she was, was very relaxed. relaxed. She was yeah. okay. She's very good with Sue. Yes, she was very good with, with Sue. Sue. Yes. She's good with yes. ladies, isn't she? Yeah, absolutely, yes. yes. That, well, that Sue was... is good with everybody, of course. <laughs> yes, his... I like you, Chris. You can come again. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're gonna, we're, we want to have a three-way conversation. It's not a two-way conversation. And Sue, if you come up with any you know, something on the thing, but ask questions. I want to do a little thing before we go on, right? All right, this make just, it quick, I'm, gonna, I'm full of mid tea, so I might not be here for long. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you creep out in the middle of it to do a wee-wee. We've got a potty right there, so oh, right. Can, Yes, it's specifically for that, for that, for that <laughs> occasion. Now, here we go, just go through the questions. We've right. done it with, other, with some other people. Okay. Have I you ever had a nickname, and what, what is it? Kick. Kick? Because I couldn't say Christopher when I was young, I'd say Kick or Kiki. <laughs> Oh, right. <laughs> so, well, I'm still known theory. as Teeks by quite a lot of my older friends. Older friends who grew up. at school. Yeah. yeah. And um, Stoss is another one. Stoss. I have no idea. I think it's Chris Stoffer. Ah, oh, right. Yes. And oh, was that at school? No, I don't know where that one came from. And also my nephews call me Stuff. Again, Chris Stuffer. I think. Oh, right. So I really answer to anything. You do really, don't you? I Not do. to Bob. Bob doesn't do it, does it? Not to Bob. But though I would. I would, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yes, you're, I, a, you're, a, you're a very kind and well, exactly. I, generous personality. <laughs> Whatever, if they're looking at you and call you anything. Yeah, somebody's prepared to talk to me, then I will answer to anything. <laughs> very good. Um, and what I've just realised is that if this is very sensible, isn't it? The light for you is behind. Is it? Is it? Is he well lit enough? Oh, is it what right? I like is underlighting. Oh, <laughs> yes. Is it a touch of the um, oh the old horror? <laughs> Hammer, hammer, ha, homer, yeah. ha, hammer, homer, house, or whatever. <laughs> so, uh, what's your biggest fear? My biggest, oh, my biggest, I think it's coming back from Sainsbury's with the wrong kind of rice. <laughs> <laughs> now, to explain to everybody, your wife is Japanese, <laughs> Japanese right? Yes. So, you really, that you do that on pain of death. Absolutely. Just one of these sharp Japanese knives, doesn't she? Absolutely, yeah, yes. Yeah. Very sharp knives, the Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but, uh, um, and sharp, you are sushi before the end Sush- of the day. Sushi, absolutely. So what but, kind of rice? Sorry, I'm, I'm interested. Well, I'm always told to go and get rice. It doesn't matter what kind of rice you get. Mm. But of course it does. It does. It does, yes. Never so, believe you, women when they say, mm-hmm. no, just bring anything. Think, that's right. Yeah. That is just not true. true. In my 40 years of marriage... Mm. She'll say something like, you bring it in, it's the wrong time. She'll go, that's fine. Which means yeah. you have transgressed. You have. Get you back have. in the car, yes. travel back. 15 miles, mm-hmm. leave a footprint, um, an eco footprint mm-hmm. the size of, mm-hmm. to get something which is not, you didn't get it right. Yeah, yes. I thought uh, I'd get the cheaper tins a bit, or more, 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 more expensive tins a bit. That's, that's even worse. That's yes, worse, isn't yes. it? Don't you know we haven't got any money? What are you doing? <laughs> it's that kind of thing. Or if I come with something else, what's that? That's not chocolate. You know, what's that? It's not right. Or if you forget the one thing you were sent to get. Because you get mesmerised Yes, you do, you do, mesmerised. Yeah. Yeah. Sue, is that true? Well, I have to say... The biggest transgression that you can commit. Oh, right. Don't start now. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, that. Yes, I mean, now we're this. talking transgression. Let's hear this. Yes. A three-way. Is to put the chocolate in the fridge. You see, what is that? <laughs> she doesn't like no, chocolate. Why don't you to put cold. my chocolate Why? in the fridge? Why not? Because it's the wrong temperature. Temp- it's, it's very temperature dependent. So in all the things that I could do, well, the I'm, worst is... I wasn't, I'm not ready with a list, but I can provide one if you like. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's quite witty. <laughs> Moving on. I must say, I'm quite shocked. 
Yeah. I'm quite shocked Chris, that you do that. It's yeah. coming out now. <laughs> you, <laughs> almost like the father confessor figure. Yes, absolutely. That you become, more. yes, my son, my children, if you'd like to just say, say a few more sins <laughs> and transgressions that you can commit. Um, anyway, uh, so what, uh, everybody, you just write in, would you, on your, uh, on your thing, and what's your biggest fear? Because I, 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 different people have different things. What superpower do you wish you always had? Oh, my goodness. To be taller. I'd love to be able to be taller. Really? Yes. And you yes. use that as a superpower? I How would much use taller? that as my superpower. Oh, about, about um, six or seven inches. I'd like to be over six foot. Over six foot? Yeah. I'd like what to be, are I'd you? I'd like then? to be a six footer. What are you? Uh, five foot eight. Oh. On a good day, probably really? near <laughs> seven. Uh, what? So if, you t- if you're tippy toes? <laughs> on tip toes, it's five foot eight. Uh, yeah. Okay, five foot eight. Uh, you didn't seem to be. Sue's five foot. One? <laughs> two. I don't know. Stop me when I get to the right height. <laughs> Four. You five foot four. Yeah, five foot four. So you two were perfect match, height wise. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Okay. absolutely. Elaine Hayward, <laughs> who put on the show last night, mm-hmm. I haven't, I haven't looked up to a woman since um, um the uh, since the doctor um, uh, oh no, no, Penny, no. of course. Penny and Penny. Hattie and Lisa. Yeah, all yep. But but it, she was very tall, <laughs> very very elegant. Very elegant. Oh, there physi- you are, Elaine. You think she's very elegant? Physiotherapist. Mm. Oh, and gosh. I looked, and I, and I, I thought, I think, yes. And I, I looked at her from a distance. She looked very elegant, you see. And I know, I, I wish I was taller. I wish I were taller as well. But you, you, you hold, you handle it well. You're more cuddly. You see that way. <laughs> yes, yes, I know that my your wife would tell was definitely. <laughs> she's tiny, isn't she? She she's is tiny. Yes, tiny. Luckily. Yes. Is yes. she the biggest one in her family, or is she the smallest one in her family? She's actually the smallest one. Well, no, her mum's even tinier, I think. Oh, my so, goodness. Yes. So, um, it's funny, isn't it? Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, what makes you laugh the most, apart from me, of course? Well, that's, oh, you've taken my answer now, then. <laughs> <laughs> isn't it charming? You come, come next week as well. <laughs> right. so, what makes me laugh? Um, I just love warm humour. I think warm yes. humour that um, you can laugh at yourself and other people and all enjoy it. Yes, yeah, so self-deprecation. Self-deprecation, yeah. It's old-fashioned English kind old of Old-fashioned English humour. Banana skin jokes. Too, yes, like yes, 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 yeah. That's so kind of you're not into deep irony and clever humour. Oh, it goons? can be. It can be. The, what the goons and all? Oh that yes, kind of yes. No, I, I quite like that as well. The, the sort of madcap humour. Yes. yes, yes, yeah. It's, uh, it's not my favourite. I would go for more sort of gentle comedy. The sort of um. Yes, Prime Minister type comedy. Oh, right. And, yes, yes, yes. And, and, um, C- please don't say you like Last of the Summer Wine. Do not tell me that you like Last of the Summer Wine. Please don't say that. If you say it, you're out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can go to the loo then. So, yeah, okay. Last of the Summer Wine. Yeah. yeah. No, I did like that. It was a gentle humour. It's it too gen- gentle. It's just kind of... But you, let, you, you relax oh. and let it wash over you. Oh, no, I yes. want a bit of a raucous laughter. Uh-huh. I just wanted to get in there and kind of shake it up a bit. You know, just get in there and write the script a bit more. Yes, I know what you mean. I mean, it was the longest ever I know. sitcom. So, and you that's know, somebody what liked your it. Your dad loved it, didn't he? Mm. he? Excuse me, excuse me. I know you're writing. But can I just say, your dad loved Last of Summer mm. Wine, didn't he? Uh, my dad did love things like that, yes. He has a great sense of humour. He had a great sense of humour. Oh, he was brilliant. And, um, raconteur. Yeah, he was really? a great really? raconteur. Oh, very witty man. Very witty. Gave and me all the jokes. Not very tall either, so maybe no. it comes with... <laughs> His famous, <laughs> I think you have to make up for it, don't you? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> well, his famous Spend joke that I always I use, laugh, <laughs> the tears were running down my legs. I, now that, which one? <laughs> just, I'm sorry, I love there it. There were I'm others sorry. that you could have chosen. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> but that was your dad. <laughs> he was a Navy man. He was a Navy man. Oh, th- my dad was a Navy man. You, you understand what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so yes. it has that yes. edge of yes. all men together type yeah. stuff. Yeah. Um, you're a Navy man. I didn't know he was a Navy man. Yeah, no, he was, and his father, and my mother's oh, really? father, and my mother was a Wren. Yeah, no, great naval family. Oh my gosh! I mean, what what did they do? I mean, within the, within um, the well, funnily enough, they met. Um, they were out in Malta. My dad went through the war because he was just yes. young enough to, to uh, old enough to get into the war. Um, but they met uh, out in Malta, where my dad was doing whatever he he was normally the sort of admiral secretary type he was yes and my mum was in charge of the um sitting in the little room making sure the atlantic fleet was all right oh one you know, of those you mean that that, that you see in the war films yeah, that's right yes pushing around the yeah. ships and at one Goodness. point she lost the atlantic fleet and was driving them onto the rocks and she screamed my dad came over who just happened to go in and rescued her and rescued the the Mediterranean fleet. Sorry, Are you not serious? The Atlantic. Yes, absolutely. That's how they met. He rescued her from sinking the entire Mediterranean fleet. 
<laughs> and see, after that, that's, 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 that's why that's, I get yes. Chris in. Yes. Because <laughs> this is the kind of stuff I love. <laughs> well, Are you true. serious? That's that it absolutely was... true. Yes, absolutely true. So how do you I'm not look... sure it was the entire Mediterranean fleet. It was but enough, most of them. enough to have caused a problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that would have caused a problem. To, act to your dad, to, yeah, my dad. because yes. he was on a clipper. Yeah, he, he was probably a signalman. Yes, yes, yes. 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 yes, he was, he was a signalman. He was really? a signalman on a clipper. Out goodness. in Greece, yeah, 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 yeah. Gosh. So you could have been lost. He could have been lost. You could not have been born, and I wouldn't be here Absolute. with you. And we owe it all to my dad. <sighs> That's oh, extraordinary. And somebody else wouldn't have had the kidney to give me. Think <laughs> of that. Think of the way that the world works. So, mm-hmm. I, so can I just ask when yes. you put just because I don't know about this, when she was pushing it round. I mean, what does she? How does that work? Well, I'm not entirely sure because, of course, in my mind, it's all radar and all that sort of yes. stuff. I think they did have radar then, didn't they? So yes, they I did. think you know they were it's, just sort of. But they used to have a, a board, didn't they? With the that was in the, the um, in the bunkers during the the yes. um, the, um, the Battle of yes, Britain, wasn't yes, it? And they yes, used to yes. things. And I think they had sort of both. Right. I think they had both, but I, so I don't know the technical side of it but i do know she knows more she She worked for the ministry of defence but apparently i can't say she can't say say. because she tells me she has to kill me me, yes (laughs) she will (laughs) anyway (laughs) so they met they met in malta (laughs) they met in malta yeah that's lovely yeah and and what they they then came back and got married and uh they were married in malta i'm not sure whether that because they came back and forwards but they were married in malta um, I'm not sure whether straight after that or whatever, but um, well, so and Malta, pro- f- you know, has a sort of place in my. Ah, yes. yes so have yeah. you been back? No, I've never been. So that is one of the things on my bucket list. Yes, you to must go to Malta. It's, yeah. Apparently, it's good. Apparently I've it's not good. been. Yeah. I've never been either. And it is something I fancy because they talk Italian. So they ah, speak Italian. Yes, it's yes, quite indeed. Yes, so you, yeah, you yeah. can sing in Italian. I could, too, well, I could talk to them Italian. Yes. So yeah. you know, I think they speak English as well. But um, mm. I like, I like to just, you know, one of these people mm. that goes into a restaurant. And it speaks perfectly logical. This I was mm. saying this last week. They go, yeah, I'm looking at the menu, and yes, and I, I, I like this, and I would like um, the um, inferno. <laughs> and they say it in perfect Italian or French, and and the fr- they look, the waiter looks and goes, oh, what an idiot, you know. <laughs> or the and waiter, who, or the waiter who does what? Can I give you a sad, yes, madam? Yeah. Yes. Oh, this bloke over here wants <laughs> a bit of something. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, yeah, you know it's it. and you know the Indian man is not he is not garlic sing by it. I know what what are you wanting to do? And you know he's going, All right mate, you all right then? Yeah, he, uh, yeah come sit yeah. down the road, I was bored here. <laughs> but it pleases would you like some proper dom? And it is yes. you know Absolutely. You know that you get around the back and he's going, Yeah mate <laughs> Oh, I like a little bit but I have to put the racks on, you know. Anyway, um <laughs> what's your favourite animal? Oh I know that oh, one. Oh it's gotta be the dog. Yeah, your Labrador. Dog. Labrador. I do love Labrador. Tell me about so, your dog. Oh, she's lovely. She's a rescue dog. Had three lots of puppies and then was going to be sort of not exactly thrown out, but was looking for a home. And a friend of ours um, rescued her for us and looked for a new home for her. And there we were. We just lost our other dog, which yes. we adored. Yes. He was a black Labrador. Oh. And we were looking for another black male Labrador. And then along comes this golden female Labrador. Beautiful. And we just fell for her. I remember when we walked into the room and she put her nose in my hand and I was lost. I was mm. gone. How old is she now? Eight. She's coming up to nine. Nine. Yeah. yeah. And she's the most adorable creature. She's intelligent, warm, affectionate. Loves cuddling. Mm. Um, she speaks French, doesn't she? And everything. She does. Yes, yeah. she does, actually. Yeah. Yep. She's lovely. Yep. Um, so, but Sue, did you, when you, Sue saw her, did, she, she no, look at the lovely. screen. Don't look around him. But look at. But no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, you have to have to look that way. It's better. It was. Okay. She was lovely, wasn't she? She was beautiful. Mm. She was good beautiful. with you. Beautiful. She, of course, of course. She <laughs> just. <laughs> I was surprised that you. She'd not gone to you. But no. what can I say? Well, she you know, we, we, we always used men. Well, well, the men originally. Sh- yeah. <laughs> she, <laughs> she always said. I'm trying to milk it. She, 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 our dog we was with us for 15 and a half years, and we always said that she loved Sue and respected me. Oh right. It was that, you know. Yes. It was, yes. she, she would do ultimately what Sue said, said. but not what I did. I mean, she was a, be- a beautiful dog, and I know you lo- you love you're an animal lover. If you had an yes. intro song that played every time you walked into a room, what would it be? <laughs> I like this question. Oh, my goodness. An intro I, song. I need to be briefed for this sort of thing. <laughs> An intro song. Intro. Um, Come on. Uh, what do they sing when the president comes into a room? All right. Uh, uh, all hail the, all, all hail hail, the chief. Hail, hail, all hail the chief. It yes. is, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I'd like that. That was written. I can't remember which one it Here was. It was. I can't remember which uh, um, president it was, but because he was tiny, 
when he used to go into a room, yes. you know, the, the reception or something, nobody knew he was there. <laughs> nobody noticed. So that's why they wrote that song to announce his. So it would be perfect for me. Okay, stop. Ladies and gentlemen, this is why he's in this room. And if you haven't got one of his books, you have to. They're called, the title is. I never knew that about. about. And then they would tell you. And uh, England, Wales, Northern Ireland, Scotland, um, uh, the Thames. Christmas, the Thames, Thames. Um, New York, New York, the yeah. South Co- the, the Coast. Coast Islands, Island. Island, Wales. Yeah, I mean, well, you don't know much about Wales. Wales have lost <laughs> twice today, and people are in mourning. We don't want to really, have, they? yeah, I know. But they like open. the wooden spoon, of course. Love they spoons. Do. Well, it's quite love useful. Yeah, it's, it's 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 a Welsh thing, isn't it? Oh yeah, of course. We love spoons. Tell us, bit, tell yeah. us something about spoons. Go. <laughs> something about well, Wales, uh, Welsh people make love spoons out of wood. They yeah, do, which, they spoon, do. which are, are, are lovely things to have. They are. Thank yeah. you. That's so. something about spoons. Mm. Right. And Yuri Geller used to bend them, didn't he? He oh, did. Yes. yes. But did he? Or did he? <laughs> oh, but did he? Yes. Did he yeah. bend them? Um, um, well, he came on to Wogan once, and he did bend one in front of me. Yes. Come on, tell us about. The, come on, tell us about that. <laughs> Well, that, 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 just that, to tell people that, that, that you, because they don't, not everybody watches watch the last one. Oh right. So what happened yes. with you were on Wogan? How did I, you? Get I was in? Terry Wogan's assistant. I used to hold up his questions on a big idiot board. They used to call yes. it right next to the camera. So I was right there when it all happened. It was live telly, which is so exciting, yeah. so exciting. Yeah. And not, not filmed at all. Not not, not filmed, filmed and edited. at all. No, not filmed at all and edited. And Terry Wogan. You know, if you remember him, but he just loved it when things went wrong. Yeah. He refused to rehearse, and <laughs> you said the this more earlier. That, yeah, the more that went wrong, the more he loved it. And <laughs> Sounds like someone else I know. It's <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> exciting. <laughs> we were talking about this earlier, and and, yeah. and JV said, "Yes, I don't like to rehearse. I like to be spontaneous," and that was absolutely Terry Wogan. Yeah, yeah. I think and though what he does, what he did was, um, and the people like him and me, we bank, mm. we bank stuff in our. Oh head. yes. So we're mm. constantly absorbing yes. stuff. You know, we, we're, we're listening to stories, da, 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 and then then what we, uh, mm. at a particular time, they'll come out. Yes. Right. Yes. And you, you somehow instinctively they come yeah. out at the right time, don't in, they? You yeah. spend your life in preparation yes. for the moment yes. that goes wrong. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and, but you love it. You some you get a thrill. Something happens. Yeah. You just go. Oh, did the pro- right. did the BBC like that or? Uh, no, the producers and everything were absolute panic stricken. Yeah. So he was he was quite mischievous, Terry. He used to like to panic people Seriously. On, on his very first show he fell down he came, it was elton john was playing the piano <laughs> sounds like someone else on. i know <laughs> yeah absolutely that's quite true i've seen that yeah he yeah, did exactly yeah. what you did yeah. and fell down yeah and and milked it for all it was worth you know from then on the show was only going to go one place and that yeah. was upwards oh, yeah. yeah because it, it get interestingly it gets the figures people watch because they mm. don't know what's going to happen exactly it's a, it's a slight it's excitement isn't it it's, it's, frisson. it's a frisson what's yeah. going to happen yes it is that i think actually it's quite interesting mm. having been involved in television for so long you would have seen the way that entertainment has changed i oh, suppose yes. mm-hmm. uh, how has it changed do you think well it's very it's not live anymore I mean, it's very rarely live. Um, and we found occasionally we'd do a recording for Wogan if we couldn't get a guest on live or whatever. Mm, yeah. And when you're doing a recording, the adrenaline's not there. No, and you make no. so many more mistakes yes. yeah. because, you know, you're not sort of like that. Yeah. Whereas live television tends to go well because you're, everybody's up for it. Everybody's ready for it. Yeah. Everybody's motivated. Yeah. Um, and I think when it's not live, it loses something in my book but they even they put in a 15 minute delay or something now in case somebody says something they shouldn't yeah, yeah. they can bleep it out or whatever yes. um but yeah. i think we missed that did they thing. have any delay at the time when you were brought no I not straight at all it was straight out as, straight out as, live as yeah which is what made the producers so nervous of course because they didn't know <laughs> if something did go wrong it went wrong in front of eight nine ten million people what was mm. what was his attitude then to the producers because you'd have oh. pre-production meetings and everything oh else. absolutely yes uh, for those of you who don't know what that means mm. pre-production meetings mm. it means that before the show you'll sit in the big table all the people involved including chris would be uh, because he was mm. writing stuff for um wogan to say mm. as well giving him cues and stuff like that and i imagine that y- that you would be suggested making suggestions or something like that within the meeting, or would that not happen? That wouldn't happen. So I mainly sat and listened, so that I was ready for something. Because what I had to do is, he, he, you'd write out the questions, you'd mm. have the structure of the interview, yes, um, and then of course he would go off in a different direction. Yes. And most of the time he could bring himself back. It was one, but just occasionally he'd go down a cul-de-sac and not quite know how to come, come back. So, so you then were there I to had help to be him. there to help him come back. Yeah, 
Um, so you would, stand behind the camera. Yeah, so I'd, I'd be standing right next to the camera that was looking at him. Yes. So I would be seeing what the camera and the people at home would be seeing. Right. And the guests would be sort of there right in front of me uh, because the idea was that they didn't see that the, that no, he was questions. looking at boards and no, that sort no, of no, yeah. no, no, no. I, I remember there was do you remember there was an art critic called Brian Sewell oh, <gasps> oh Brian Sewell yeah, that's the one yes. glass absolutely and um, he him. did catch sight of me and he said I think it was live on air he said oh look at your monkey jumping around behind the back <gasps> oh, of the no. show <laughs> You know, I hope you went on and gave him one live <laughs> on television. Well, it was quite That's funny. Really it was quite funny. Smack in the mouth. <laughs> That's right. How about this for a monkey? But, oh, right. um, that, that no, but no, it, it didn't bother me. I mean, it just um, made lovely. you laugh a little bit. It made me laugh. Yeah, it made me laugh. So, um, <laughs> and I was brought on once because he, I don't know the interview had dried up or something, and I was brought on. They showed the cards to everybody. This is what have we do and all the rest of it. And I went home and thought, did anybody see this? And one, my auntie Tiggy had seen it. <laughs> and she said, yeah, didn't you look pink? Because <laughs> <laughs> I had no makeup on or anything. <laughs> <laughs> it just dragged you on. Well, that was my that was my that moment. Was your <laughs> moment, glory, and that was it. Done. That was it. Yes, one person. Didn't you look pink? Yeah. I, I think <laughs> what, what's interesting is that that what what we lose in live television. Mm. It means that we don't believe anymore what's there because oh, editing. Yeah. What editing does, and it mm. does for music as well, mm. Chris. That that when we go into a studio, and I, in in my early albums, we do a lot of editing. So we yes. stop, record, stop, record, stop, yeah. do 15 bars, stop, da, da, da. Mm. And, and I, I found you're exactly right. There's no adrenaline to push you through. No. And, and then the performers start, we, we start relaxing mm. because we go, oh, well, it yes, doesn't matter. We can do it, it in the do edit. it again, yeah. Um, um, a digital technology has meant that it's very easy, easy. to do yeah. the edit. But I, I, the last few albums, I just said to Mark Edwards, who produced it, I mm. said, look, mate, I'm, I want this live yeah live recorded in the studio live overdubs can happen afterwards yeah but the essential band the ba piano bass drums yeah. voice we do yeah. it live and 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 so what that did is had everybody on the metal yes absolutely and, and it flows better. better it, it flows does. better you can tell yeah. when something's been edited even yes. if it's brilliantly edited yes there's, there's something that tells you you know they've done that again or something but because the beatles used to love in the recording studio they insisted on doing it live and then they let George Martin sort it all out afterwards, afterwards. Yeah. yeah which you can hear it can't yes you? yeah you can hear yeah. that we'll come back to Terry I'm sure um uh you didn't answer the oh yes you oh. did you did hail to the chief <laughs> <laughs> uh, what would you rather do wash dishes mow the lawn clean the bathroom or vacuum the house uh, or vacuum the house or none of the above <laughs> <laughs> well a none of the above but b I do quite like mowing the lawn why? I, I used to load the lawn at Lambeth Palace, and I had one of those little tractors. Those little stop! Wheel Wait, tractors. stop! Stop! <laughs> Just stop! Sorry. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. You see, not many of us could say. I mowed the lawn at Lambeth Palace. All right, can I just say that? Now tell the tell the, the viewers why you would do you didn't just happen to pop in and with your lawnmower. <laughs> with my lawnmower. <laughs> why did you why were you mowing the lawn at I was mowing my father was the bursar at Lambeth Palace back in the seventies. Way oh. back in the seventies, yeah. if you remember that far back. Um, and so we lived there. Um, my room, which I think I did tell it before, but my room was the room uh, was Archbishop Cranmer's old study above Ooh. the chapel. Oh, there was right. a lovely um, yeah. 15th century uh, tower called the Cranmer Tower. Yes. And um, this Cranmer, lovely room. Cranmer, uh, Tom, uh, Tom, uh, He's the one who compiled he, the prayer book. Yes, uh, yes, to be understood of the people. I That's think that right. was what yes. he was. Yeah. Yeah. Which I think the prayer book, language in the prayer book, is the loveliest English yes. Yes. anywhere. Yeah. Uh, so I like to feel... You know, that's inspired me to be a writer. So really? If I could write. Yeah, well, I, I like to think so. It makes a good story, but I like to think so. Yeah. So um, anyway, um, so yes, so I did lots of odd jobs around Lambeth Palace. I um, mowed the lawns. Did they pay I, you to do it? Um, no, I don't think they did. It's just that I, that's, you, a, that's a you, very good question. <laughs> you're going to build them now, aren't I you? I could now, couldn't I? You yes. could send it off to, to um, old, yeah, what's absolutely. his name? Absolutely, yeah. 
Because uh, they've got lots of money. Well, they've they yeah. got 100 million, haven't they? Yeah, they've got 100 million they're, they're to give away. Yes. So, so uh, mm. maybe 100 million plus 26 pounds <laughs> in back pay. You know, it's <laughs> not going to... Absolutely. They're not going to yes. miss it. <laughs> No, that's a very good question. I must have, I must have gone. So I did all sorts of things. I, I um, sat in the gatehouse and I buttled. Sorry? I buttled. What's a buttle? A buttle is a butler. Oh, but, but oh, I buttled, but, um, so I buttled. To, yeah. but, to butler? Yeah. Oh, to, to buttle. To buttle. Is that the verb? To but, well, I don't know. I've always used it. To buttle. To buttle. buttle. Okay. And that, that gave me one of the most terrifying experiences of my life. Go on then. Because right. we had to lunch. This was when the Runcies were there. Dr. Oh, Runcie, yes. his Dr. wife, Runcie. Lindy, who was a wonderful piano player. Was he? She was. She, she was. Oh, sorry. She, not, Lindy. Not she was, a, she was a, a genuine concert. Fairness. And she used to give concerts at Lambeth. Which, oh, God. Um, and we had John Betjeman <sighs> and his, his uh, friend, Lady Elizabeth Cavendish. Now, that, he, was, he was Poet Laureate, wasn't poet he? Poet Laureate, yeah. He was a wonderful man. Absolutely. He, he was small and cuddly like me. He was always jumping over the place. It was full of energy and full of... Wondering. Come grateful bombs, isn't it? There, yeah, fall Drop on slough. So, that's yeah. right. That was okay. him. Yeah, right. no, he just was, trying to reference yes, it for people. John, yeah. Yeah, John Betjeman. Yeah, yeah, was the poet laureate. Yes. Yeah. and he's the one who saved St Pancras Station and that yes. sort of thing. Yes, yes. And the uh, guest of honour was Princess Margaret. Back in and the day. Back in the day, years. absolutely. And after lunch, she, uh, we, we went back into the sort of state drawing room, mm. and my job was to continue to top up her whiskey and water. She liked famous grouse whiskey, and she would drink it, you know, she was going around, but from time to time she would like to have it topped up, so she would put her glass out like that, and you had to go across with the whiskey in one hand and the water in the other and oh. top it up, but you had to top it up in exactly the right combination. How would you, if you know put that? too much water really? in? Because I'd been told, and I practiced it and everything, but standing there, and she would stand in front of you like this, she was quite tiny, yeah. Even tinier than me, and bright blue eyes. Really? Yes. Yeah, they was sort she of stunning? vaporized. She was. She was absolutely gorgeous. Yes. She was stunning. But she lo had a sort of implacable look on her face, as if to yeah. say, I'm waiting for you to get this wrong. Look at this one. How old were you? Oh, must have been 18, something oh, like right. that. So a young man. A young man. You know, ready to, yeah, absolutely. A young man who'd never met. You know anybody like that before, right. and um, I, 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 you know, I still wake up at night sometimes in a cold hand. Like, <laughs> was it actually shaking? It was shaking. Yes, it was. I, I kept it together, and I didn't get it wrong. But I mean, you know, I, the whiskey could have gone on the floor or the, splashed over. If you splashed it down her front, of course, you were in real trouble. Yeah, so, that's yeah. that's. Mm -hmm. I think that's that's to the tower, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah, that basically. is. Yeah, that is to the tower. It's conveniently yes. placed. Yeah, I've only managed to there. stay out of the tower. God knows how I have <laughs> stayed out of the tower. What well, he my does, neighbor, the question to you <laughs> is, is that you, God does know. Um, yes, he does. If, he does. So you could be here today. That's why. Yes, to tell that's the right, story. To tell the story. Yeah. So, um, but I, I had a wonderful time there. It was a fascinating, wonderful place to live. And I got to meet all sorts of wonderful people. And, um, you did. The last time. time you talked about the Queen. Yes. And opening yes, the door. That opening stayed the door with the me. Queen. Yeah. You know, not, the, not, mm. getting, not being able to open mm. that door in time for them to flow that's in. That's right, to flow in, that's right. I mean, that that yeah. really got people's um, imagination <laughs> going. I think I should I sing a song, from that. Save You For... Uh, we, we don't know, for now. Oh, it's, gosh. Do, right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Now, I think I'm going to do the little song that um, give you a break for two seconds. Um, and then don't forget your meds in two minutes. Oh, well, I better take my meds now, then, doesn't I? I'll take them early. I'm going I'm to sing this song for you, um, just to remind you of what we do here. I'll, I'll take the other ones. I'll take no, the other. The other. Um, the microphanolate will do that after the show. That's not so worrying. Two and a half. Well, there we go. Um, I just wanted to say why I wanted to sing this. We've been quite influenced of late over um, the way. <coughs> What is it that we're meant to be doing? <coughs> you know, coming out of, of lockdown, it's been quite difficult <coughs> for many people <coughs> to find direction. And to, for, for me, as a singer, you know, what do we do? What are we about? And I suppose, actually, I just wanted to say to you that I've sung this song many times before. I mean, it's suddenly something that uh, helped me. Greg Porter sung it. And being involved with this person, in, uh, this group in, um, in the Isle of Wight, the 
community, the um, well-being cafe. Well-being cafe. And with Terry, and I want Terry on as well. Mm -hmm. Terry's going to come mm -hmm. on and an inspirational story. We've got some inspirational stories coming up. A woman who was a paramedic who just decided that she was going to help people. A brilliant, just, you know, stories, Chris, all over the country, aren't they, like this? Don't, don't, don't yes, you find sir. it surprising that, yes. that the world is filled? Yeah. Filled with stories around every corner, there's a story. There is. Yeah. It's like that, you know, did you ever watch Secret Millionaire? No, yeah, but I know Channel the program, 4, you know yeah, the, the, yeah, idea, yeah, I know the idea, and they go, and what they discover, it's not about, it's not about them so much as the people they discover. So, yes. Ordinary people, people just doing extraordinary, extraordinary things, things. Yes. with no money. Yes. They just help people. Yeah. And, uh, you know, this, this is, but I thought this is something that, in, I'm 62 now, Sue's um, 72, and... Uh, <laughs> I could take the kitty back, you know. Uh, well, she's, she's about to have a pension <laughs> soon. And I think, actually, what's, we try to dedicate ourselves to not make money, but to do the thing first. And money comes as it comes. And people were very generous with us mm. last night. We thank you for that generosity to get, pay towards this. And, and so uh, we think, what is, what is the concentration that we have to have? And I think, actually, that you're talking about royalty, and it just put, put it in my mind that I, I should sing this, to say that to you, as I listened to a video today that put me in tears about a man who's playing Jesus in the film The Chosen. And he did an interview, uh, he won an award or something, and he, stood, he said, I just sat there one day and a woman came up and just, uh, just said, she didn't, couldn't believe it was me and said, you know, it was, it was very moving, I posted it online, and said, suddenly, she said, it's you, isn't it? He said, yes, and he shook her hand. He said, what's your name? My name's Jonathan. She said, my name's Jennifer. And she fell into his arms. And she said, I know you're just an actor. But she said, I have prayed I'm in such difficulties. And I've prayed that I would have a sign. And she said, I know you're an actor. I know you're not Jesus. But she said, it's as if the representation that you give. And he then quoted the, the Matthew mm. 25. And mm. he said it in um, the, uh, accent. the accent, the Hebrew accent. The, the Jew that Jesus yes, was. Yes. And he said, in as much as you've done it to the least of my brethren, you, when you do it to them, you do it to me. And we both wept and we thought, and this, is, this is just reinforcing what we're, about, what we're trying to be about. We ain't perfect, we make, break, we make mistakes. Uh, but um, this song, I suppose, it encapsulates it just a little bit. For the king And they line the pavements With every sort of shiny thing They will be surprised When they hear him say Take me to the alley Take me to the afflicted ones Take me to the lonely ones That somehow lost their way Let them hear me say I am your friend Come to my table Rest here in my garden You will have a pardon
the alley Take me to the afflicted ones Take me to the lonely ones That somehow lost their way Let them hear me say I am your friend Come to my table Rest here in my garden You will find a pardon Take me to the alley Take me to the alley Just to remind you you got a friend trust, you need some help, then contact us. We will pass you on to Adrian and the trust members who can help you. It's a kind of an interesting life that we lead, isn't it, as, as independent writers and things. You know, we can sometimes lose our focus about what's important. Yes, yes you can do. Um, you, you, you have to be very focused in and, um, and what you're doing. <laughs> Um, because you rise or fall by your own hand, yeah. as it were, and you're yeah. in charge of your own destiny, which I love, which I love. Do you find it difficult as well? Yes, yes. I mean, um, I wouldn't change my life at all. I love being independent and freelance. And um, as they always said, my strength is my availability. <laughs> <laughs> what it means was really I've been available to do all sorts of wonderful things that I wouldn't otherwise have done. I've, I've never really made much money or anything, but no, I've done say, some very interesting things. Well, what's your and attitude I, towards money? When, when, if, I, mm -hmm. if I gave you the choice mm -hmm. to make money and be boring, but don't make money and live the life you've lived... Mm -hmm. When you, I was a teenager, I would have said I would like to make money. That's what I would have said. But I tried that. I went into a bank, you know, pensionable job and everything. And I realised, you know, within three weeks that this was not the life for me, that I wanted to be able to get up every morning and do something different or not know what I was doing or if I felt like trying something new, then I could. And I think it's me, I mean, you know, I've had some wonderful, wonderful opportunities in my life that I wouldn't have been able to do if I'd been stuck in an office all day. I mean, thank goodness people are prepared to, you know, do proper jobs and things because th they are the yeah. sort of people who keep me going. Yes, so, or they earn the money. Or to they buy earn the, the money books. exactly. That's yes. And there is so no doubt that we have a kind of different kind of life, don't we? I mean, yes, we do. Yes, I mean it's it's, it's risky, yeah. um, but it has great rewards as well. Tell me, I mean, not the, the financial rewards. Uh, you've made some money. Obviously, mm -hmm. you've had a living. You've made a living. Mm -hmm. But this, uh, this COVID time, you haven't earned money at all, have Not you? Not at all, no. So it's been a difficult time. How have you managed? Yeah. Savings. So you've yeah. exhausted those savings? I'm exhausting now. the savings, yes, bit okay. by bit. Stop. But People, this is why I want you to buy the books. <laughs> but we're going to... Now, I, I want to know whether you can get these books. Can you get them? and then sell them on. Can you get them at a discount and sell, make some money doing that? I can, Two yes, people. I can buy them for sort of half price. And things well, and then make, that's what we do. We do. You yeah, see that? It's, it's, it's yes. a trickle income. Yes. But I, I want people to buy them from you, not buy them from, mm. uh, from Waterstones, who give you two pound, uh, to, to give you a pound a copy or whatever yes. it is you finally get, and yes. it creeps into your account after a mm. year and a half. Um, but I, mm. it's just always this thing about making, this, this, this quiz mm. about making money, is, isn't it, so we... Mm. We yeah. have the yeah. same debate. What do we, we do? do? What do we, yes. Because it's you've got to sell records or you've yeah. got to go, you've got to do a concert. Right. It's a gig economy yes. that, we're, that you and I are involved yeah. in. Yeah. I mean, I love the job of writing. I love writing the books. I love doing the research and everything. I do not love the marketing side of things. Mm -hmm. No, you're can't very, do it. No, you're very can't, shy. Aren't yeah, you? yeah. So I can't boost myself like that. Um, but, you know, that's, that's I've, as I say, I've, I've survived and... Um, well, it's, it's tell us, I mean, some of the, the, the project you're, you're involved in now um, is a very interesting project. I mean, apart from writing, mm -hmm. are you writing, uh, you, or you tell me to just get in a room and sit down and write. It's that, that, yes. yeah, that was the advice you had. <laughs> That's when right. When the muse yeah. didn't yeah. fall on us. Absolutely. Just, just get something out there. 
something out there. I think that's very important. I'm, I'm not saying that I follow my own advice, but that's what you're supposed to do, is you're supposed to sit there and write something every day. And how, how well do you do that right now? <laughs> very badly. But, um, because you're involved in another project. Because I'm involved in another project, yeah. And I, that, that. That's another thing. I'm, I'm not good at multitasking. So if I'm concentrating on one <coughs> project, then I have to concentrate on that and no other distractions. But um, at the moment, I'm, I'm about to be producing what I hope will be a very successful podcast um, based on the historical events behind the books of Wilbur Smith. Ooh. So now, this is very interesting because I think that many people out there would... Remember Wil Wilbur, so. South Africa, think, lots, lot, lot about yeah, South Africa. that's right. I think he's one of the world's top ten best-selling authors of all time. Yes, you came up with that. That was the um, yeah. some frightening figure, as you often yeah. do. Oh, 130 million books or something. Yeah, yeah. absurd. Yes, uh, a brilliant writer, and um, he. But he sets all his stories against real historical events, uh, which are fascinating. Um, so the first one we're going to be doing is about the Dutch Golden Age. Which, is, which was exactly what is the Dutch Golden Age. But the Dutch Golden Age was the time when it was really the sort of the Dutch Empire yeah. between sort of 1588 when they escaped from Spanish rule and came together as a republic. Yeah. And their trade and their science and their art and all those things were um, the best in the world. Yeah. best in the world and of course they monopolized the spice trade and they colonized places and mm. the wonderful arts, Rembrandt and Vermeer, all that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, that was obviously, uh, but uh, as you know, sort of empire is, is a hot topic at the moment. Yeah, <laughs> it's good or bad, whatever. Um, and I, I just find it fascinating. So we're going to be talking about that, the first one, because some of his books are set against the, the um, Dutch Golden Age. And yeah. of course, the Amsterdam Museum has just recently said it's not going to use that term anymore. For It has a permanent collection of um, 17th century artists and things. And they're now going to call it the 17th century group, because they say the Dutch... Golden colonization age. yeah and it doesn't show the dark side of things no. whereas the Rijks Slavery Museum exactly. has said no we're keeping it you know um, because we can talk about it you know it'll, it, um, it's a very contentious it, issue it is this contentious isn't it because it's, it's very uh, if those of you might not know about this and but it's mm. and we won't spend long on it but it's mm. just um it's about this re Writing of rewriting of, of, of history, of, of history, or oh, actually it, framing in it, mm. framing it. Let's let's be honest mm. in a different way, which is causing a lot of controversy. So it's the kind of the anti-slavery, um, uh, yeah. The, this, mm -hmm. the, the, this 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 well, everybody pretty much everybody's anti-slavery, mm. but uh, the legacy it left for the yes. British Empire, and therefore because it there was a stain mm. on the British Empire, and every nearly yes. every empire yes. succeeds by treading on and s enslaving everybody else. else. Yes. Um, hence, Slavs, slave, mm, yeah. the word, very thing that actually, I think, yeah. came from your book. Um, so, you know, mm. the, where, do, where, do we, where do we go with this? Do, I, I, well, know I, I mean, the, 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 you know, the, what they're trying to say at the moment is that empire and colonialism was all bad. It was all just basically about slavery. Yeah. Uh, whereas there's a chap called Nigel Bigger who's just written a book who came to the conclusion that, um, yes, slavery was indeed awful and that there was a very dark side to the empire. But mm. there was also, particularly from the sort of 1800s onwards, <coughs> some things they did well. You know, they, they, they went out in a sort of missionary spirit yeah. to try and make life better for people mm. and things. In, through what, technology. Through and technology through, yeah, and Christianity yes. and, and all those things. So, and he got dropped by his publisher, Bloomsbury, because they did, the junior staff were offended by the fact that they said there was anything good about empire at all. Well, I just it, think it's ignorance. I mean, it's just well, plain. We're 62. We're old. Um, you can't, old you just can't so just... What you do, I mean, it's very controversial in America, I know, with the, yes. with the Confederates yeah. and uh, that, that kind of mm -hmm. stuff and statues etc um and those who adorn them but but what about what about how does it affect you how would you write that with, with that in mind you do have to be uh you have to select your subject quite well it's got to be fairly neutral nowadays that you can, i mean they have sensitivity readers nowadays mm. publishers who will read the book and say you can't say that or you better change that word or you shouldn't say this yeah, but, yeah. um which you know it is I sort of understand it, but I think it's it's um, it's quite cruel on the growing up generation who yeah. are either made to feel totally ashamed of themselves or that yeah. they're victims and they'll get nowhere in life yeah. or that they should be ashamed of what their ancestors did. Yeah. Um, 
And the fact is we're all here because of what's happened before, yeah, isn't yes, it? So yeah. you know, one might as well learn to live with it. You learn, for, mm. you, you have to learn from You the have past. to learn. And we have progressed. Yep. I mean, you know, yes. we don't have slavery in no. the West anymore. No. It's still going on around the world. Yes. Um, but, you know, we do learn. And we're, we're all learning. We're all learning all the time. There'll be things we're doing now that future generations will think, how yes. could they have done that? Yes, exactly. Yes. But they Today, will have learned from the fact exactly. that we did it. That's mm. part of the thing. We'll be outra yes. outraged in a yes. few, few years. Yes. I think what's interesting is that young people seem to have absolutely no idea about the breadth of history and mm. the way that actually history changes. Yes. It, it changes yes. things and everything changes. Just usually, because of you it. Know, eventually. Yeah. Um, but they want, want it changed yesterday. They, yes. And they say, people in 1582, how could they think like that? Right. Well, they thought they were That's, people of their yes. time. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. Did, yeah. Sorry, so hold the microphone and say what... Sorry, yeah, they thought the world was flat. So, you know, we all had to be educated at some point. Mm -hmm. To change. Um, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So we, and, and I think it's this guarded language thing that um, us comedians... Mm -hmm. We won't be told not to say. If no. somebody give me a list of things I can't say, I'm going to say You're going to say it straight away. And, yes. and, and, and mm. actually this whole mm. thing where I, I'm, I'm not into this at all, not into it mm. at all, and I don't care. People write to me and go, oh, you, you're, not, you're not this or you're not mm. that. No, I'm not, no. no. I, I am who I am. Um, I'm a 62-year-old mm. mixed-race guy, mm. right? And I think I've been attacked racially and I've done all this kind of physically beaten up, um, nearly stabbed, all this kind of thing. So I'm very aware of what it's like to be a brown-skinned person mm. in a predominantly white culture. But don't tell me what, what I can and can't, can't say and what I should feel and how outraged I should be. But you're going to do a podcast, aren't you? This is what yes. I was aiming at. Yeah. Because I, I think people are going to be very interested. Well, in I this. think you can still actually be quite controversial on podcasts. Um, you can, can you? discuss things, yes. Uh, there's a wonderful podcast called The Rest is History with Tom Holland and Dominic Sandbrook. Yes. And they talk about all sorts of different history and everything. And they, they come up with some quite controversial... But they, they're they discussing it. Yes. Saying, you know, that some people think this and some people think that yeah. and everything. Yeah. And a podcast is, is a rather good way... Because you can't do it on television anymore. No. no. Uh, you can't do it really on the radio anymore. But a podcast, you can. So, Chris, how do we find you on the podcast? Well... Uh, this, this, the Wilbur Smith one hasn't started yet, but it's mm -hmm. going to be called That Wilbur Smith Show. That, that so Wilbur, Wilbur Smith, Smith show. show. And once it's up, I, I have to say, we're only doing a pilot first. Okay. Right. Hopefully, that'll be good enough okay. for them to, um, to commission more. Um, and I do have my own podcast, which I haven't added to for a while, which I, because they're very time-consuming, because I produce them as well. Which I love doing, but it's very time consuming. Mm. Called and you go to um Christopherwin.co.uk and you get to my website and mm -hmm. then there's podcast there. Christopher okay. Wynn. Christopher Wynn. Yeah, it's on the screen. Dot, so. yeah. it's, That's right. And yeah. go yeah. and get it's a very inter this man is a very interesting man. I think there's so many mm. depths to you that um I start you only start peeling back the surface a little bit and you suddenly think I used to think I was very interesting and then I met Chris. <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> I mean, I, I just love having uh, you in because... You've only been a boring old opera singer. Yeah, you, really? well, yeah, I mean, but, you know, there are people that you meet. <laughs> and I, th I think because I love people's stories, that they progress and that it's always the next chapter. Yes. Well, the, what's gonna, what is the turn of the page going yes. to bring? Yeah. yeah. So even when you're feeling... I find that when I'm really feeling down and mm. despairing and yeah. the world's, you know, what's, what's mm. going to happen now? Just sit and think, wonder what the turn of the page will bring. Oh, that's, that's a beautiful... Nice. That Very is a nice. beautiful thing, actually. Mm. Wonder what the page is. And so many mm. of you out there, mm. actually, you feel lonely and you don't know mm. what's going on. And I wonder what the page the turn will be, uh, the turn Definitely. of the page will bring. Mm. I think. Look, it's mm. we. It's, it's always lovely no. to have you, Chris. It's Chris. Oh, well, you are you're you. just, a, just a lovely, <laughs> lovely guest. And and I think keep being controversial. That's my advice to you. Mm -hmm. And actually, don't back down. We're too yeah. old to back down. If we I are was 21, old, yes. yeah. I'd back down. Yes. Right. Yes. But now, it, yeah. I mean, what can they do to us now? Well, not a lot. No. You know, if they cancel well, us, they cancel us. Well, we're us. already pretty cancelled. Yeah, we are. <laughs> so, uh, but, uh, you know, yeah. I just, we do, and I think actually in religious terms, I think people are, are very aware that soon there will be a moment when you can not <coughs> say anything yes. on any platform yes. that has a religious um, real impetus. Mm. And, um, and that religious mm. can, can be, and it, it, it's only when it affects mm. you. Yes, that that's when you realise. Yes, that's when you realise. That, yes. that, that you you're now mm. you've got fetters on you. Yes. You've got, you're bound. Mm. 
a mm. feet and hands yes. and you can't move. Absolutely. And they'll put a gag in your mouth at yeah. the end of it mm -hmm. and say, no, you can't say that because it mm. will offend so-and-so and it will offend so-and-so. Yeah. And the cro it's interesting because the, the, the Christian message, it is an offence. You know, it is it an offence yes. to people. I'm a, that's the one thing I'm prepared... I mean, I'm very cowardly on the whole and I will back down and, and, and not put my head across. But the one thing that I will stand up for is my Christianity. Because I, I feel I've got the strength there to do why? that. Why? Why would you do I'm, I'm interested because, in well, I, think I don't care about the time. Just <laughs> <laughs> I think Jesus gives you strength. Um, mm. And I feel very lucky in life that I've always had faith. Yes. I've, but I haven't had to work at it or anything. Mm. It's just been there. Yes. Partly because my parents were so wonderful. Yes. And they gave me this faith. Yes. So I've never had to work at it. And I feel a bit guilty about that or anything. But it does, as I say, in your darkest hour, mm. um, it gets you through. Yes. Mm. And I just think, to give, I mean, Christians have been persecuted the world over, you know, mm. and mm. been martyred and yes. burnt at the stake and all sorts mm. of things. And if I can't just stand up for that, yes. after all it's given me, then I really can't call myself a, a man at all. Oh, so, um, yeah, you know, that's the one thing I am going to stand up with. And I have to, I'm getting quite close because the church is going badly wrong, it I think. Yes. Yes. The church hierarchy, yes. not, not the church itself. Yeah. There's some lovely, well, it doesn't wonderful... Know quite what it's well, it's you know, become another government department, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it feels that yeah, way, yeah. doesn't it? It does. Well, the bureaucracy. And it should have the courage to stand yeah. on its own and be have its uh, stand mm. for what it truly believes, yes. not what it should believe. It's, well, it's about yeah. eternal truths, isn't it? Yes. It's not following the crowd. Mm. You know. And um, there are some churches that are, that are declaring UDI, aren't there? Yes, there because are. Because, of course, the churches actually belong to the parishes. Mm. And there are some of them saying we're not going to be sending no. anything to the diocese anymore. Well, or to the, the yes, that's exactly it's come up this week. Mm. Yeah. And I mean, uh, I think the thing is also just to say that often the church, it doesn't, it doesn't set the agenda. It follows others' exactly. agenda. Mm. It's not proactive. It's reactive. Yes. And so, you know, immediately the, uh, the press get on and say, you're not doing this, this you're not yeah. doing that. They go, right, we better get we'll doing better that. We better do then. that, yes. And instead of saying, actually, we're not going to talk about that, no. what we can talk about is poverty. And one mm. of the things that, that and social justice mm. issues, they've gone right off. Yes. Nobody, nobody seems to be talking about no. those anymore. No. They are going. Every parish mm. is doing them, and every Baptist yes. church, and every they're doing mm. it. And ninety percent of the, the the work that's going on is voluntary work, as we were mm. talking yeah. with um, uh, Roger last week. Mm. So I, I just I think actually just to stand up. Um, if we pulled mm. the plug on all the voluntary work that's happening in yes. the churches. Oh my goodness! What would happen? What People would, happen? would not be fed. Mm. What are mm. they doing with 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 um, food banks? It's all that. Yes. So you're right. Just let's stand up. Mm. Have the courage just to stand yeah. up. We don't. And also, can I just say, we don't. Just because we disagree doesn't mean we don't talk. No. This I is know. where this we've got, become. It's so polarized. Yes. This is anyway, this has all become a, a deep <laughs> discussion. Um, Chris, it's been <laughs> delight having you in here on the show. Well, you, you are, you you're much. always a man of integrity. Um, People might not agree with everything you mm -hmm. say. I don't care. That's mm -hmm. what, and they don't agree with everything I mm -hmm. say. But then I don't care about that. That's not that. You know, we have our views, we have our opinions, mm -hmm. and you can disagree with me. Yeah. But we're in the same. We're always in the yeah. same room. All right. That's that's how it will always be. Um, Sue, I think you've got some notices, haven't you? Just very quickly, because we are running out of time. But uh, Rachel will very kindly get them up for me. Um, <clears throat> so uh, just to talk about the remaining tour dates that I have fixed. Uh, the next one, very exciting for us, is that we'll be in our hometown of Guildford. So if you are around on the 11th of March, we would love to see you. It's always a great joy to see people from the community um, on the show, um, come up to the show. And um, there is nothing like uh, seeing Jonathan in action. And um, live it's live in day. action as opposed to dead or flat or whatever but yes seeing you really uh, flat flat on a flat screen oh right <laughs> we mean lying flat in a well, tomb in a, no, in lying, a box well, no lying flat on a on a trolley in a hospital oh, yeah, no, um, no, well, anyway quite good there, so um yes let me sorry rachel let me let me go over the um <laughs> sorry can you go back to the dates i want to go back to the dates i'm sorry <laughs> she's rushed on for me jonathan interrupted as usual um so, uh, we have in April, we are off to uh, uh, Flackwell Heath, which is near High Wycombe, uh, on the 22nd. On the 28th, we are heading up to Scotland. We're going to do Troon. And then the following week, on the 6th, we'll be at Blairgowrie. And um, then on the 13th, we're going to shimmy back down to Sheringham in Norfolk with the lovely Salvation Army people there. 
June on the 17th, we are in Southport. So Dear Sharon is going to have people travelling to Southport as opposed to Sharon travelling to everywhere else. And on the 24th, we're going to be in Newbury. Um, really busy time. That's well, gonna yeah, be, it's going to be a busy time. Um, <clears throat> and then in August, we are up in Grange over Sands at Thornley Hotel for two weeks of JV and Sue for a week. And then a concert in the middle, their 25th, 50th anniversary um, concert in the evening uh, on the Saturday. Now, if you would, um, if you're just tempted to think about putting on a, on a tour date, then please contact me. I do have um, time uh, for people to put uh, events on. And I know Elaine found it hard work last night, but I know also that she really felt that she it was great to have people along. And she said to me this morning that lots and lots of people said that they wished that um, they had known how good it was going to be because they would have thought of bringing X, Y, and Z. So they're always wonderful And they want us back. I hope you want us back, want Elaine. That would be lovely to want go us back. back. In a summer month when it's Next a bit year warmer. Next year um, so if you want to know more, if you want to ask a few questions, um, I'm always very happy to chat. And so if you just write to me on sue at jonathanvera.com, sue at jonathanvera.com, with any of your questions, I will attempt to answer them. And if you go on to jonathanvera.com website, you will see the calendar. So you will see there how to book tickets for any of the shows that I have mentioned. Uh, you can also go on to the shop and book uh, any uh, CDs or books that you would like to buy as gifts and presents for people. Um, where are we going next to? We're going to the, t oh yes, the Steinway Room. As Jonathan mentioned, we have a few more coming up. So we've got Cindy Kent with Jonathan on the 19th. We've got Adrian Pinnock coming in on the 26th, which is all going to be fun. Um, and then on the 5th, we might have these people That's who've... The 12th. Yeah, just the oh, it's going to be the 12th. Okay. So well, we, we put that in. Okay. Yeah. It might just be us doing it. Um, and then uh, on the 26th, um, we are hopefully going to have... <laughs> on the 26th, Rachel's going, what? <laughs> on the 26th, we are going to be doing um, the... Uh, oh, yes. It's going to be Michael Cooper's daughter. Correct. That's right, yes, that's uh, not in and, there. And, 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 a and then, something wonderful on the second, We I can't believe I'm going to say this, we are going to be three years old on the, the second of April, so we're going to have a, a do on the second we'll of April, which will be fantastic. Uh, so thank you for that, Rachel, that's great. I think we need to finish there, because I think we yeah, are done. done. Uh, so actually we sing that, let's put on uh, the backing tracks for uh, Go Peaceful and the Lord Bless You, and we, and we thank from the bottom of our hearts, um, the lovely Chris Wynn. And we encourage you to go and find out. Go online now and see the t in titles I didn't know that about. I never knew that. I, ne I never sorry, knew that I about. I never knew that about. And uh, buy these books. But in fact, we're going to find out a way of him making some money from these and ordering them directly. You can then post them out. Uh, even through our site, we might, I don't know, I haven't thought of that one. And this one here it goes, the one that stars Sue, more than most people. You ready, Sue? Here it goes. Go peaceful in gentleness through the violence of these days. Give free, show tenderness in all your ways. Through darkness, in troubled times, let holiness be your aim. Seek wisdom, let faithfulness burn like a flame. God speed you, God lead you, and keep you right. Around his heart, may you be known. 
by love. As we go out tonight, we send out particular greetings to Michael Cooper, who's uh, finished his treatment, hopefully. And we trust that he's looking well. For P and Rachel, uh, who were yeah, very emotional last Pete. night, and I was very lovely emotional Pete. looking at them. very poorly. For Karen tonight, who was so brilliant with us last night, and with so many people. For Jeffrey, who was just a sweetheart last night. Yeah, it was so exciting. Margaret to see Surrey, him. who was watching last night, and we met yes. her for the first time. We did. It was lovely. For Carol, who we met last night, at Wadsworth, and she was just brilliant, a lovely and kind lady. Such wonderful people, and uh, so lovely to see. God bless you this week, and we hope you have a good one. Be righteous. Speak truthfully in a world of greed and lies. Show kindness, see everyone through heaven's eyes. God holds you and fold you. And keep you wrapped around his heart. May you be known by love. God hold you and fold you and keep. trust you feel that love too from your fellow community members but show that love to other people and it often comes back model it and see what happens around you in your communities in your neighborhoods and see the great things that community can produce actually and we particularly thank Rachel for doing a sterling job tonight. Um, she came straight in from work and um, found the, the, the tech in all kinds of disarray. Facebook wasn't working and blah, blah, bloody blah. She is a solid woman. She and certainly is. We send love out to um, the rest of the tech team for Ben. And Claire. And Claire. Why did I suddenly <laughs> forget? <laughs> Guessing old, darling, you need sugar. Sorry, Claire. <laughs> I need I need anything great. I? <laughs> Should have had tea tonight. Anyway, this is from Numbers chapter six, way back in the Bible, in the Old Testament, the Aaronic blessing. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine on you. The Lord bless you and keep you and give you his. Trust you have a good week this week, and we'll see you next week with the lovely Cindy Kent 
Obi. Oh, yes. And happy birthday to Jill Lloyd. Apparently you're 70 tomorrow. Just found that out. So happy birthday, happy Jill. Happy birthday, for Jill. And to all we haven't said happy birthday to, I'm so sorry, but bless you all. Okay, here we go. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine on you. The Lord bless you and keep you and give you his peace and give you his peace. Thanks so much and uh, remember we're here for you. We are. You've got a friend trust, don't forget it. And uh, well, have a good week. Thank you for Until joining us. Week. It's lovely to be back again, and thank you for taking the time and to, out Chris. to be with us. Say goodbye to Chris. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. There's Chris. Bye bye. Bye.